uh, Hamas has held Israel responsible for it. I want to understand how big is this development? Uh, thank you. I think uh, it can have two options. Either the, uh, there'll be escalation in the hostilities or total de-escalation because Hamas would soon realize that uh, the Israeli pressure is on and that it might just facilitate the ceasefire process which is on because they have actually lost him and he also had lost his family on the 10th of April. His sons had gone, his grandsons have gone, so everyone gone. And here was a man in Iran, obviously attending to the swearing-in ceremony of the president of Iran, who then at that point of swearing-in also a lot of people did uh, sort of raise, uh, you know, voices of uh, kill America and kill Israel and all of those kinds. And here you find that a, a missile only for like what had happened to Soleimani. Just he had been shot uh, and killed. Similar in the same fashion, here you have the Hamas leader, uh, Ismail, also gone. In. So that is indicative that such kind of precision killing is indicative of a very, very detailed uh, hard work, network, and the kind of information flow that is coming as to where is he, what is he doing, and then be able to take on just him.